Well, hi, friends. Welcome back. Hey, uh, I've got a very good friend. Very, uh, I call him one of my best friends. He calls me his best friend, too. And for years, we enjoy getting together and having coffee together. Um, we try to meet. We used to meet every single day, and now we just meet once a week when we're able to. Sometimes we have things that happen that cause us not to be able to get together. One of the things we like to do when we're sitting having coffee is we will play tic-tac-toe or the dot game. And what? I'm too old. No, 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 no. You, I forgot to tell you. My best friend, he's a fourth grader. Yeah, we started when he was in preschool. Yeah, he drank coffee. <laughs> Don't tell his mother. It was with caffeine. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, we had a great time, and we still have a great time, and we play that dot game. To play the dot game, you have to have a piece of paper. We use a napkin, and I have my pen, and we draw dots, and then you're trying to make boxes as you play the game. Uh, sometimes when we play tic-tac-toe, he beats me. Another thing about my friend... He's an OSU fan. I'm an OU fan. So we always kid back and forth going, OSU, OU. I tried getting him to say o OU one time. He said no. <laughs> he thought it was a bad word. Maybe his mother would get onto him and ground him if he said the word. <laughs> anyway, we have a great time, and we enjoy having coffee together. And like I said, he is one of my best friends. But sometimes when we play these games, oftentimes when we play tic-tac-toe, we tie. But when we play the dot game, the other day he beat me, not just by a, a couple, but by a whole bunch. He wiped me out. I think I had six and he had 24, something like that. He stunk me at the game. Now, because he beat me so bad, does that mean we're not going to get together for coffee anymore? No way. We're friends and our friendship is very important to us. Sometimes in life, we have things that we lose or we're failures at. We don't win every single game. But just because we don't win every single game doesn't mean that we need to give up and quit. In fact, the Bible tells us in Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, it says, Though a good man falls seven times, he rises again. But the wicked are brought down by calamity. You ever make a mistake? You know what? If you can't make a mistake, you can't make anything. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, but what I've learned is that I keep making the same mistake, then I've got a problem. But if I make a mistake and I learn from it, then God is teaching me something and I need to learn from my mistakes. When my friend beat me at the dot game, it's because I made a wrong move. But just because I made a wrong move doesn't mean I had a bad day. I had a great day because I got to be with my friend and I have to look at the great thing that happened by being with my friend and not by a game. It's just a game. I've learned uh, that if we can't make a mistake, we can't make anything. And I think that verse is true that if a good man falls seven times, he's going to get back up again. But wicked people, oh, they're just going to have it bad. Our mistakes, our failures, our bad choices don't have the right to declare who we are going to be. We're going to make them. We just got to quit making the same one over and over and over and over again. Our failures can keep us down, but they can't make us stop. We can't keep giving them the power to keep us from who God wants us to be. We might be just a few mistakes away from exactly what God is doing in our life. So we can't give up. We got to press on and keep keeping our eyes on Jesus. Thanks, friends. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.